Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Focal Board on Casa OS using Big Bear Casa OS, which is third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we'll be installing today, a focal board. It's like... Uh, a Trello for a, a open source. It's open source project management for technical teams. It's got 13,000 stars. And this is what it looks like. Um, accelerate your productivity. You can have boards and uh, calendars all like this. A, so a board, a list, a calendar, and then a gallery. So it's a pretty not a neat way to organize your, uh, your projects. And assign your teams with a real-time collaboration. And then it has a lot of templates. So project tasks, a content calendar, um, company goals, a roadmap, a meeting agenda, and a welcome a focal board. And then the features are unlimited boards, unlimited custom attributes, project cards and tasks, a user permissions, group filter, sort task, customizable templates, archiving and backup snapshots, team and direct messaging, file sharing, meeting notes, priority la labeling, and multi-team views. So that's what we'll be installing today. So about Big Bear Cost OS is a third-party app store that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, it, it, it's growing. It's got a lot of apps now. And um, I did make a video on how to install it on Cost OS, but I'm going to go over in di this video as well. Uh, the custom app store does require cost os version 0.4.4 or newer and i'm going to scroll back up so we're going to copy this app store url right here and then we're going to go over to our cost os and get the app store installed so now i'm going to start on my cost os i'm going to go to the app store and then i'm going to go over to add source a input pops out i'm going to paste it in the url we uh, well, we copied and then i'm going to press add right here and then now we have 135 apps. And if you refresh the page, go back into the app store, go to categories, you see Big Bear Casa OS. So here's all the apps that are available in the app store. So I'm gonna start on Big Bear Casa OS. I'm gonna go to apps, and then I'm gonna scroll down to focal board right here. I'm gonna go into Docker Compose. And then the Casa OS application name is Big Bear Focal Board. And then I'm going to set some services and then the service underneath the service called app. And then the container name is Big Bear Focal Board. The, the image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this and Mattermost fo fo Focal Board. And then the Docker image tag is 7.11.4. So this is the latest version right now. And a restart unless stopped. So if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then now I'm going to set some ports. So 8,000 is on the host side and 8,000 is on the container side. And this is the UI port to get to it. And um, network mode is bridge. The volumes are data, app data, dynamic variable, which is gotten from the name up here. And then that data. So this is on the host side. The left side is on the host side. The right side is on the container side. So opt focal board data is on the container side. And then now I'm going to set some XCASA uh, information to explain the volumes and the ports. And then now I'm going to set some XCASA information to explain the App Store. So the architectures that the Docker image supports up here is AMD64. The main has got app in it, and that rhymes with the service name up here, app. And then the description for the app, the tagline, the developer of the app, and the author of the Docker Compose, the icon being used, and then thumbnail, which is empty, the title, the category, so you can easily figure out which apps are coming from Big Bear Cost OS, 
And then the port map for the web UI. So the 8000 arrives with the host port of, of 8000. And then now I'm going to set some tips. So before you install, it's going to pop up and say this. So it reminds the user that they must create an account before they can log in. And um, so that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to get uh, Focal Board installed on Cos OS. So I'm going to go to App Store. Then I'm going to go I go to search. I'm going to type in Focal. And then now it's ca came up. And you know it's coming from Big Bear Cos OS because of the category down here. So you can go into it. You can press install. Now it's going to give you a greeting of saying that you must um, uh, cr create an account before you can log in. So I'm going to go to next steps. Continue in background. So this is uh, what it's doing. It's downloading the Docker image, getting it extracted, and getting it up with Docker Compose up. So we got it up and running, and we got it installed. So now I'm going to show you where the files are located. So if you start in your cross OS, you go to Files app, and App Data, you'll see Big Bear Focal Board right here. So you can check mark a download, copy, cut, delete, cancel. You can also go up to the top right and download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, and then delete. You can go into it and you can see the data like the DB. You can see files. So that's where your files are located for Focal Board. So now I'm going to go over the container settings. So I'm going to go to uh, the top right here. And then you can open in the web UI. You can set some tips. So you can go in here. And you already see a tip that was already installed with it. So you can go in here and edit the tip. And it's kind of like a notepad. And then you can save. Now you, you'll see Focal Board is okay. So it reloaded the container. You'll go back into the tips and you see that our edit is saved. You can um, go into settings now. You can change some settings here and then press the save button. You can also go up to terminal logs and have a terminal straight in the container. And you can see the logs with the container. So great for debugging. You can export the Docker Compose. So I'm going to go out of this. And I'm going to go up to the top right again. You can check uh, for updates for the current uh, container. It will not change the Docker image tag though. You can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm going to go on the focal board. So you can go from, uh, to it from here. Or you can go to it from here. So I'm going to go into it, and now you'll, you'll say you create an account. So I'm going to type in an email, and I'm going to type in a username, and then a password. And then I'm going to press register. So now uh, you're greeted with create a board. So you can create a board for meeting agenda, sales pipeline, CRM, personal tasks, project tasks, co company goals personal goals, print planner, a user research sessions, a competitive analysis, content, calendar, te team, a retrospective, and then roadmap, and then a welcome to boards. So you can go up here and you can create a new template too. So you can just use this template and then not, and now you can move them around just like what Trello does. You can create a new card and then you can go back and it's over here. And then not, and now you can move it to the, the pipeline. So you can see that it comes with a calendar, different things. You can also add a board down here again. So you can start with a template or you can create an empty board. Um, you can go into settings. You can import an archive, a Trello, Asana, Notion, Jura, and then Todoist. And then you can export the archive, you can set the language, set the theme, and you can set random icons. So that's a little bit about the focal board. And then you can search them, the boards too. You can share up here. And then you can create an empty card and a new template.
So I just went over everything to get started with focal board, installing, setup, showing the UI. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to uh, the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.